Well met adventures, my name is Lee, welcome to Mage Productions. I have another miniature review today. Uh, I'm going to be looking at Gale Force 9 miniatures. I have Ark and the Cruel to look at. I have Strahd, super cool. And I have Baphomet. So we're going to look through all of them and yeah, see what we think. Let's start with Ark and the Cruel. The, from the Collector series, Gale Force 9. Um, you may recognize him as Joe Manganiello's character in a few different shows, I guess. So, pulling him out. Nice little bubble wrap. That's cool. Let's see if I can get into this. Is it taped? It's taped. Alright. So, I, I have painted and assembled, or assembled and painted one of these before. Um, it's a very nice model. Um, it is resin, so good quality. It has some nice little details in there. Um, yeah, cleanup is a little bit of a pain with these because you have to snip off all these edges. They, they snip pretty cleanly. Um, my only issue was with this base, kind of snipping it off and then sanding these down to really get them in there. Um, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward model because, I mean, it's really just his body and the head, and you can just kind of pop that in there, glue it on, and then he glues down to the base. One thing that I didn't pay attention to when I did my first one was his feet are on these little, um, I guess, I don't know, little bases right there. I don't know a word for it. But those slide in here in these two spots. And he just kind of like locks down in there. And I didn't snip them off right, so I got them right down to the feet. So it didn't quite fit correctly. So don't do what I did. Yeah. But it's, it's a good model. It's nice. Um, quality's good. Good quality resin. Uh, has his name, Arkin Vecna, right on there. Because he has the hand of Vecna or something. Pretty sweet. Now let's go into Strahd. Um, I got this, I guess, over a year ago. Almost two years ago at a convention um, that Guild Force 9 was at. And I just took the plastic wrap off before this. So I haven't even opened them yet. So let's see what's inside what's that again taped bubble wrap good packaging so this looks like high quality resin too it's a nice base uh, it's a little bit chipped there it's not quite flat um, it's some bubbles in there but uh, overall looks pretty good. Some sanding, maybe some green stuff to fill that fill that bubble and that gap right there. But not so bad. More bits. More tape. Eh. Alright. Oh look. Strahd as a whole. That's interesting. He's he's in one piece. Um, it looks like the resin wasn't quite set. They pulled it out. Uh, he's missing a hand. Uh, that's probably on here on the horse. Um, again, some of these pieces oop, are a little flimsy. So one thing you have to be careful about with resin is it's very brittle and it's easy to break. Um, the sword looks a little wonky. It's not quite as straight as I would want it to be. Um, it's a little curved. Let's see if I can get a better view of this. There's a little bit better of a view. So the details look pretty good on them. 
uh, he's got a lot of small details here you can see some kind of roughness in there have to go in with some sanding kind of get this um, these little posts are flashing off of them scrub them down real good yeah okay let's look at the nightmare Nightmare looks good. Uh, again, there's some of those posts here that look like they uh, they go down into this base. Maybe the picture. Yeah, so it looks like it goes into the base, but kind of looking at it, it doesn't look like his feet quite fit. Like they're too close together? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. No. Huh. Yeah, the holes look a little too far apart. You could stretch it out though. Just be careful not to break it. I guess I could pull this off. I don't have my clippers with me, so I'm being gentle. Yeah. If I stretch that, e, yeah, it fits in there. Just have to be careful with it. Don't want it to break. Get a better view. Again, good quality resin. Um, it's real shiny, which is kind of strange. Probably some grease. I would recommend scrubbing it with some dish soap and water not too much but make sure you get it all off before you start painting it uh, overall it looks pretty good I guess he fits down right at the top oh there's his other hand so gotta fit that in there boop like that yeah I was really excited about this model I think the quality is decent enough for what it is um, I don't remember how much I paid for these. I probably should have looked that up before these. Um, I'm pretty sure you can buy these on their website. Um, I know that's where I got Baphomet from, and we'll look at him next and pack these up. So with Baphomet, um, I have already taken him out and cleaned him and assembled him. Um, I don't think... I kept the bags. Of course I kept the bags. Um, so this is Baphomet all built and assembled and cleaned up. Um, I had some trouble getting his arm aligned as well as his other arm aligned. And I did have some gaps, so I filled it with some green stuff. Um, getting his head on was pretty straightforward. He came, his head was one piece. Um, body, his legs, torso came as one piece, and then his arms were separate. Um, his base was separate too, which again, much like the Strahd figure, um, I had trouble getting it to align correctly. You can kind of see right here where his foot's not quite there, but beautiful model, really cool, great quality stuff. I'm really excited to paint this guy. Um, yeah. He's going to be super fun. Um, I already washed him, cleaned him up, got him all assembled. Haven't primed it yet. Might prime, might not. I would highly recommend this guy. Um, I've painted a few Gale Force 9 models, including Arkin and Mad Maggie and... I'm looking on my shelf and I don't think I have any up there, but I've painted a few others as well from the different series and they're, they're really great models. They're really good quality. Um, the price tag is pretty great. I should pull that up. Yeah. So prices on these, um, Baphomet is 
50, where Arkin is 10, and then Strahd was, is, I guess, is 25. Um, overall, I'm pleased with these. I think I'm a little bit disappointed in the quality of Strahd, and I mean, it's, with resin models, it, it's a bit give or take because most of them are filled. Um, they're mold filled, so like they have a mold around it and it's just kind of injected the resin inside of it. Um, so they can be hit or miss on some bubbles that you saw within Strahd or some rough points like him. But overall, I'm pleased. Uh, they paint up nicely, they work really well, the quality's good, um, and it's it's cool having a figure for like Baphomet, having a figure for Strahd that's not just like a giant demon dude or just a vampire. So having those kind of key characters is pretty cool to have in your game or at your table or on your shelf. But overall, I think they're pretty worth it. Um, again, disappointed in Strahd, but Baphomet's awesome. Arkin's really cool. The other ones I've painted have been great quality and lots of fun. So, yeah, my two cents. Enjoy. Thanks, guys.